Good morning, it's Monday morning here and it's about 20 to 11 here in Inverness. I hope everyone had a great weekend and is ready to start the week strong and hopefully we'll be, if you're in Scotland, we'll be starting to uh, get some guidance of when we can open up soon and I think things are starting to open up uh, throughout England and, and if you're in different countries I'm sure it's starting to get a little bit better so we'll be get back more at our football as well which we've been all been missing. So I would like you to think about you know starting the week what's kind of going to be your goals for the week what's some of the things you want to be how do you want to be when you're going towards your goals you know that's your intention how are you going to approach it you know mindset a lot of the time when we talk about mindset it's about your approach to performance it's about your approach to life you know that's the thing as well so sometimes we're a little bit clearer on what we want to achieve and what we have to do but we leave out how do we want to be in order to get to where we want to go so what's your attitude going to be like this week what is your approach going to be like to football performance life in general because life's all about ups and downs isn't it you know that's one of the things there you can't really kind of predict how it's going to be but sometimes you have to just roll with the punches like everyone's been doing for the the last year or so as well so uh, i hope everyone's kind of got some inspiring goals for this week and I'm going to talk about inspiring goals it doesn't have to be big and huge but it can be something that you could have a, a, a bigger long-term goals but the challenge with sometimes just saying you know what I want to be the best in the world or I want to get a pro contract or um, I want to do this or I want to do that we forget what we have to do on a daily basis to get there so Make sure you've got some short-term goals, whether it be a, a week or whether it be every day. What's the things you're going to do every day to get you one little step closer to your goal? And sometimes you can't see it because that's what we're doing a lot of the time is we're laying down the neurology, we're laying down the habits for future success on a daily basis. So that's where you have to have patience because sometimes the results lag behind the hard work and the smart kind of work you're doing on a daily basis. So with that in mind, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what my first book, which is really kind of the core of a lot of, uh, of what I do, was The 12 Hidden Laws of Performance. I released that about 10 years ago now, and uh, I was so excited when I did it, and it was really kind of great experience there to get right up the Amazon charts and one of the one of the I suppose the funniest thing about it, it was funny in a good way was uh, I remember looking at the Amazon charts one day and uh, I was something like in personal development I was something like number seven and uh, I was just below um, Eckhart Tolle the power of now and I was above the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama was at number eight. So I never thought I could actually say my book or I would be in a chart where I was slightly above the Dalai Lama. So I've taken a, I took a screenshot of that. I'll have to find it and post it. It, it uh, always makes me a giggle when I see it as well. So The 12 Hidden Laws of Performance was, was my first book and really it's a lot of it wasn't just about football, it was about sport and life and it was kind of 12 laws or 12 kind of approaches that if you adhere to as much as you can, it'll put you on the right track to success. So I want uh, to talk a little bit about law one. So law one was a top performance is an inspired performance. So it's about finding your passion. Now. Before I go on to speak about that, you know, that's the thing, you know, passion comes and goes or sometimes motivation comes or goes. But for us all on this site and for us all on this Facebook page, we'll all love football. You know, we'll, I was speaking on the UEFA, SFA UEFA B last week and I was speaking about motivation and I asked the question, when you were a kid, when you were, whatever age you started kicking a ball about, you know, whether it be three, four, five, six, seven, eight whatever age it was why did you start playing football 
why did you start kicking that football about? And I bet you, well, 80%, 90% people said it was good fun. You know, so I loved doing it. It was just fun. It was, it was. I loved the feeling of kicking a football and running about that. that. So that passion for the football game, you know, that's that Kindle. One of our big jobs as a coach, I would suggest, especially if we're working with youth players, is keeping that light, that passion kind of within someone, you know, for the game. When things get tough, when sometimes they, they have to learn the ins and outs of the game and the repetitive nature of doing certain skills, nurturing that fire within for the game. That's one of our you know jobs as a football coach and a youth coach, nurturing that pass, um, passion. I always say when I'm speaking on the youth licence and the children's licence, you know, if we're working with uh, 12-year-olds, 8-year-olds, 7-year-olds, 9-year-olds, you know, we're the CEO which is the chief encouragement officer. That's all our jobs to do a lot of the time. Create an environment where people love to come to your sessions. So law one is a top performance is an inspired performance. So what do we mean by that? You know, a lot of the time we'll come back to this thing about are you born a champion? You know, are you born a winner? You know, um, and E, there might be some, some genetics predisposition that allows you to be good at football. But champions are made, not born. I'd like you to hold that belief. And if we hold that belief and that thought, it's not that it's real. It's what it allows you to do. So when I, if I do anything in life and I believe, you know, my rewards will come through my own hard work and I apply that in how I do every day, that means I'm taking responsibility for how I get on in life and how I get on with the game. So I'd like you to think about... You know, that thing about champions are made, not born. You know, and you as a coach, you know, or you as a player or you as a parent, you know, it's about what you do. You know, don't rely on genetics or where you're born or whatever it is. Whatever you do, do it with all the best of your ability. And you all, everyone needs luck. You know, luck is sometimes your, your path crosses with someone who can have a big influence on you. But you make your own luck. You get up every day and you put yourself in situations where the dice can roll in your favour. You know, that's the thing about making your own luck. I think it was the Greek um, golfer Gary Player said, isn't it amazing that the harder I train, the luckier I get. The harder I practice, the luckier I get. Make that your mantra as well. Now, inspiration. Inspiration, I think it's from, I can't remember if it's a Latin or Greek kind of roots of the word. So that means inspiration. We all know what it means kind of for ourselves, you know, is when, look, look at my body, I'm breathing in. So inspire means to breathe in passion. Inspiration. What do you breathe in that inspires you? If you're a coach, sometimes you're the inspiration to other people. You know, it's a big responsibility. It's not something you have to put like a sack of uh, potatoes over your shoulder, but creating environments where people can want to play the game. That's all we kind of mean, mean by that as well. And we want to inspire ourselves by watching videos, watching DVDs, watching clips on YouTube of the top players who we want to emulate. That's inspiration. Someone that's a little bit further down the line than you, they can inspire you as well. So when we're talking about inspiration, you know, how can you nurture that inspiration in yourself and other people? Be curious, you know, about yourself and other people. Curiosity is a huge thing. Just how good can you be? How good can you help other people be as well? What is the inspiration? You know, that's, we spoke, um, on the page about you know what is success for you as a player, as a coach, as a parent, you know, and sometimes we're the inspiration for others, and we don't know it. it. Might be some the impact you have as a coach. Sometimes you'll never know, but you might put someone's life on a positive trajectory, and it's only thirty years down the line that they maybe have the opportunity to thank you for it. So, what are the connections that inspire you? You know, have a think about that. Now, when we're talking about inspiration and passion, when you're passionate, you do things a little bit better. 
you know, you do things a little bit better, you give a little bit more. But sometimes we lose the passion. It's like motivation, it comes and goes. So although we're talking about inspiration to top performance sometimes, sometimes we just have to work hard when we don't feel the inspiration is there. So let's have a think about, you know, what inspires you. So maybe today, when you get a little bit of time, Write down what you love about football. What, remember what got you kind of involved in the game. Write that down. Carry that memories with you because that's gold for your inspiration. It's gold for your energy when you're around other people. But also what keeps you involved? What keeps you involved in football? You know, that's a little bit about your goals. How do you know what, what gives you energy but takes away from energy? And almost on and the away from motivation, if football was taken away from you, what would you miss about it? So that's looking at the question from a different angle. Who was the big influences on you? Who do you admire as well? So almost have, well, have an inspiration list. If it on your phone or your computer or cut it out, the pictures of, your, your, of the people that inspire you and put it in your bedroom, put it on your phone. Every day look at that and, and imagine you being at your goal. So hope you have a great day, folks. Um, that's me for just now. And if I get time, I'll pop on a little bit later. I put on, reminds me, I put on a package um, of three my three books, three of my books, um, The 12 Hidden Laws of Performance, which I've spoken about there. Talent Unlimited. Talent Unlimited I wrote a few years later after 12 Laws and it in particular looks at applying concepts and growth mindset to youth sport if you're a coach, if you're a parent and some great ideas there. So it's general, not uh, football specific. And the third one, which is an, an amazing one uh, uh, there, is Soccer Mindset, which I wrote with my good friend, Dr. Cameron Stark, which takes all the practical work I did in clubs with teams and individuals, and it gives you the tools to go and apply mindset and mental, mental skills to your game or your coaching. So that is available at Mark book.com donmarkbook.com and you'll get the, the three books for £27 immediate uh, digital download there and you know you'll get a, a great deal from them as well and it's a great starting point for your mental skills and mindset journey so have a great day and I look forward to catching up again